There's a lot of emotion out there. I get it. But let's take your emotions and put it into your photography. You're listening to the Master Your Lens Podcast, episode 166. Hey, John Lee Dumas here, the founder and host of EO Fire, and welcome to the Master Your Lens Podcast, the photography podcast dedicated to sharing inspiring stories, technical tips, and powerful secrets to help you become a better photographer. And now, your host, Matthew Jordan Smith. Hello, Photography Nation. There is no doubt our world has been interrupted. There's a lot of emotion out there. What do you do with everything that you are feeling right now? This is the time when you take however you are feeling and you place those feelings, those emotions into your photography. Now, maybe you're wondering, how in the world do I do that? I'm feeling fear about the coronavirus. I'm feeling frustrated with all the social injustice going on. Or maybe you're feeling numb. How in the world can you show that in your photography? Well, let's talk about that. If we look around and see all the pictures today, this week, that are floating around social media, a lot of those pictures can look somewhat the same. We are experiencing something we've never experienced before. We have this virus that's all over the world. And it seems to be getting more steam versus dying down. We have protests all over the world as well. It's June 17th, 2020. And yes, your world has been interrupted But if you take these feelings you're having right now, these emotions you're having right now, and turn them into powerful photographs, you may just make the most powerful images of your life. So how do you do that? Well, number one, you can go out and photograph people who are participating in protests. But let's be clear, to do that, you are putting yourself in harm's way of potentially catching the virus. I understand the desire to want to get out and protest, and I'm not against it. However, you must be careful. There is a virus out there. So how do you show how you feel? How do you share your emotions, but stay safe at the same time? There is another way. To show your emotions and do it in a way that makes your pictures more powerful, makes them stand out so people can see not only how you feel, but they can see the quality of your photography and that it is different, that it stands out. Now, there are a lot of people going out right now taking pictures and a lot of those pictures all look the same. What makes one picture stand out? One picture right now that's dominating the headlines is a picture in London of a black man carrying a white man on his shoulder away from danger. It is a very powerful image. That picture shows compassion. It shows our humanity. And yes, it is a powerful image. But let's dissect that picture. What makes it so powerful, even though there are thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of pictures being shot of protests at the same time? What makes that one picture stand out? It touches a chord. It makes you feel something, something different than what we're seeing. It shows an emotion that's different and that stands out. How do you share exactly how you feel and do it in a safe way? I know this can be hard to see when you are here listening to a podcast, but I'd like to show you exactly how to do this. I want to invite you to a free live training. I want to show you exactly how to do this, how to take your emotions, 
however you're feeling, happy, sad, mad, frustrated, overjoyed, whatever it is, I want to show you how to take that emotion and put it into your work. So come and join me on this webinar. If you go to photography lighting webinars right now, you can register. The first webinar happens today. Now, I said the first one because I'm going to do four over the course of 10 days, four live webinars. Each one will be at a different time so you can make sure you don't miss it. You can use the same link to sign up. Again, that link is photographylightingwebinars.com. The times for these webinars are today, June 17th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Then I'll do another one on June 19th at 11 a.m. Eastern. On June 22nd, the time will be 4 p.m. Eastern time. And then the last one, June 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Hopefully, one of those times will fit your schedule so you can make it there live. Now, if you show up, I've got a free gift for you. And this one is definitely something you can use. Now, the last time I did a webinar was back in March. And at that time, I gave away free light meters. Actually, I did four back in March. And during those webinars, four lucky people won those Sakonic light meters. But this time, I've got a gift for everybody who shows up. That's right. I've got a free Amazing gift for everybody who comes to the webinar, each and every one. But you've got to show up to receive your gift. Maybe you're wondering what this free gift is. Well, as a photographer, you're always wondering about how to make something better. And there was a problem I've had in photography for a long time. And since we've had all this time in quarantine and lockdown, I had time to think about that problem and how to solve it. So I created a solution to a common problem most photographers have, and it's your free gift if you show up for the webinar. The funny thing is, I never would have had the time to make the solution to this problem unless we were in quarantine. So come and join me on the webinar. Go to photographylightingwebinars.com and let's get down to business on how you take your emotions and put them into your photography. So how do you do that? And do it in a way that makes your pictures stronger and shows how you feel. You must use light. But it's not just as simple as putting a light on your camera and taking a picture. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is using light with intention and using it in a way that shows what you feel. If this is your first time listening to this podcast, I'd like you to know that I live in Japan, one of the more peaceful places in the world. But I'm from America. And as an American, I'm watching all the things that are happening in my country. And I have all these emotions how do I show how I feel even when I'm thousands of miles away? Or better yet, how do you show how you feel and stay safe from the virus at the same time? Light is the answer. And using light intentionally to show an emotion. So let me ask you a question right now. How are you feeling? Now hold that thought and think about this. If you could give your feeling, your emotions, whatever you're feeling right now, if you could give those emotions a color, what color would it be? Maybe you're excited about something that happened today. What color would that be? Maybe you're upset with something that happened today. What color would that be? Now stay with me. If you could give your emotion and exposure, 
what would it be right now? Let's say your exposure where you are right now reads 56 at 1 25th of a second at ISO 100. That will give you a normal exposure. We already said this is not a normal type of year. So imagine if you could change your exposure to reflect how you feel, to reflect your emotions, what you care about. Would your exposure still be normal? Now combine that, the color that shows how you feel and the exposure that shows how you feel. This is powerful information once you discover how to use it. In photography, we are taught to make a normal exposure, a correct exposure. But when you want to put feeling into your work, you've got to do something a little bit different. And that's what I want to show you today. How to use light in your photography to improve your photography, to go deeper and show how you feel. Because when it gets down to it, those who know how to make their pictures stand out are the ones who do very, very well in photography. One photographer that I love is Nadav Kander. Have you seen his work? Well, if you haven't, definitely look up Nadav Kander. Nadav, spelled N-A-D-A-V. Last name, Kander, K-A-N-D-E-R. As you are looking at this work, ask yourself, is this a normal exposure? Is this a normal color balance? I want you to think about that. And then think about how you feel as you look at the work. This is powerful stuff. Game-changing, career-making stuff. And that's what we're going to go over in the webinar. How to use light to show your emotions. To take your photography to that next level. I want you to join me live. There are four different webinars at four different times over the next 10 days. So hopefully one of these times is great for you. To register, go right now to photographylightingwebinars.com. Come and join me. Let's talk about how to use light to emotionalize your pictures. Like I said earlier, our world has been interrupted. It's a very unique time in history. It's also an incredible time for you to take your emotions and turn them into very powerful images. You can't wait on this. It's happening now. And you need to shoot pictures now that show how you feel. In normal times, it's fine to take a normal picture. But what about 2020 has felt normal? So why should your pictures look like your pictures from 2018, 2019. The photographs in normal light, of course they feel normal. The pictures you take with a normal color balance, yes, those feel normal as well. But I wanna show you how to pivot, how to use your light to make a statement. And yes, to go beyond normal, this is going to be a hands-on training, so, Make sure you show up on time. You do not want to miss one second of this training. Make sure you go and register now. There are four different times. Pick the time that works with your schedule. In this training session, we're going to, of course, go over light. How to use it with intention. I'll show you different types of light. We'll go over color balance. We'll also Go over how you gain more confidence in your photography. There's a lot to go over. But first, you have to make the first step. That first step is registering right now. Go to Photography Lighting Webinars. Register. Show up. When you do, you're going to learn a lot. You're also 
going to get one amazing free gift. My way of saying thank you and starting you off on the right foot to make a difference with your photography. All right, Photography Nation, thank you for your time. I have a lot of work to do to get ready for today's webinar. Make sure you join me if you can. Until then, stay positive, stay safe, always dream big. Bye for now.